in Japan's rural agricultural society to ensure the long-term sustainable use of natural resources such as trees and grasses, second growth forests and meadows are cultivated. These are called satoyama. These satoyama are found nearby cultivated fields, wetlands, and agricultural settlements. This composite of second growth forests and the farms and villages they sustain make up Satoshi Satoyama. Satoshi Satoyama form an intrinsic link between the land and human activities, such as forestry and farming. They occupy an intermediate position between wilderness areas and the cities. Japan's Satoshi Satoyama are blessed with wealth in many forms, from food and water to cultural activities. These gifts support the lives and work of their inhabitants, unique regional plants and animals, culture, and the natural landscape. This second growth natural environment is a mosaic of several natural environments brought together by human hands. The wisdom of Satoshi Satoyama lies in their ability to preserve biodiversity and maintain sustainable ecosystems. That traditional knowledge is found not just in Japan, but throughout the world. Second-growth forests that surround settlements bring an assortment of riches. But second-growth forests are more than just a source of fuel, such as firewood and charcoal. For example, they hold many wild edible grasses and medicinal plants and the traditional knowledge of how to collect and use them. They are also important as a source of an array of fruits and other gifts used in daily life. The well-kept second growth forests brim with sunlight, creating a unique ecosystem teeming with diverse plants and animals. Appropriate use and management by humans supports biodiversity and brings benefits such as sustainability and recycling of resources. This is true not only in Japan, but around the world. In Asia, where rice is the staple crop, rice fields are everywhere. Rice fields are an artificial wetland, regularly filled with water, drained, and filled again. Together with their surrounding water channels and ponds, rice fields are home to aquatic plants, killifish, frogs, and a diversity of other creatures. These creatures are born and grow in tune with the rhythm of the rice plants. These creatures provide a vital food supply for waterfowl. Migratory birds such as sandpipers and plovers use these fields as way stations. The rice fields play a pivotal role in the lives of humans as well as many animals and plants. Rice fields serve one other important role. 
they serve as dams. During rainy seasons, when the waters rise, they transform into a broad floodplain, protecting downstream settlements from flooding. In mountainous regions, rice is grown on sloping terraces. These terraced rice fields function to prevent flooding, feed groundwater, and prevent soil erosion. They also provide effective use of scarce water resources. This knowledge about the sustainable use and management of natural resources is intimately intertwined with the history and culture of each region. Over many generations, Japan's Satoshi Satoyama have developed traditions and cultures rooted in the working life of each region. The calendar is filled with festivals and ceremonies giving thanks for nature's bounty and praying for an abundant harvest. Though natural and social conditions vary with each region, second growth forests, rice fields, meadows, and settlements are all elements of Japan's Satoshi Satoyama, forming a mosaic that serves the planet with biodiversity, sustainability, and recycling of resources. In this respect, Japan's Satoshi Satoyama are like those in any country. The use of these secondary natural resources contributes vitally to the exquisite balance of nature by supporting the natural regeneration of the environment and sustainable use of natural resources. This wise use of natural resources and the environment is the product of the traditional wisdom of Asia. In recent years, however, Japan's natural environment has been changing in the face of rapid urbanization. Meanwhile, the countryside is being transformed by the decline and aging of rural populations and the adoption of fossil fuels and chemical fertilizers. These changes are leading to the neglect of the Satoyama and the harmonious balance between people and nature is crumbling. Worldwide, biodiversity is declining as knowledge and systems about balanced use of resources become lost, replaced with single-purpose land use. The timeless traditional knowledge of Satoshi Satoyama teaches us how to sustain secondary resources amid the abundance of nature and supports a diversity of cultures. Today, this wisdom is needed more than ever to save the earth from environmental degradation and food shortages, and to link living things, people, and life itself in a balanced whole.